I wanted to document my progress learning Japanese. Um, I've been learning Japanese off and on for about a year. At first, I didn't research much and went to Japanese Pod 101. I learned all the hiragana and katakana within two to three weeks using mnemonics. And, uh, but I also noticed that I needed a structured approach that I could constantly refer to when, you know, learning grammar and stuff. And I ended up finding Genki. I uh, found a PDF online and started to study. Um, you learn first vocabulary, then grammar points, along with examples of those grammar points being used. And then, you know, they'll give you a practice. If you want to do it, you can do it. If not, then you just move on to the next chapter. Um, I studied Genki for about three months and made it to chapter eight. I noticed the more that you read in Hiragana and Katakana, it, it definitely gets easier. And I also ignored the kanji section because there's no way that you can memorize the kunin no niomi. Like, for every single kanji by itself. Um, so from January to March, I studied up to chapter 8. And I think I got halfway through there and then I, I kind of got burnt out. My main issue is that I kept forgetting grammar points and maybe it was because I wasn't using the language. So... Um, let's see, around the time, right before I quit, I found out about RTK, or, you know, they call it remembering the kanji. And it uses mnemonics, just like I use them for hiragana and katakana. I studied and I got around to 2,000 kanji, and then I lost my phone. So, I ended up having to start over with another one. And it began around January of 2019, the beginning of January. So as of now, I'm documented as starting January the 1st, and I, see, today's the 26th, February 26th, and I have about 200 kanji left to memorize. Um, and also this time, I decided to learn and write the stroke order of each kanji. I forgot to mention that this time also I decided to immerse with anime and it ranges from one to two hours a day. There are days when maybe I'll just watch one episode, but I'll always have subtitles at the bottom. But I don't try to look at them unless I hear a word that keeps popping out and then all you have to do is like glance really fast and you'll see what word that was and it'll kind of stick to you. Like, I'll give an example of an anime that I saw. There was a word called hime or ime. And it means princess. And you know, like you hear it every time you watch anime. But well, I did hear, I heard it every time I watched anime, but I didn't know what, what it meant. It was kind of assumed what it meant, but I wasn't sure. Anyways, it's nice to know that it's possible to memorize all these kanji without them looking like a random picture. Um. Also, I only retain chap up to chapter 4 in Genki, but everything else I forgot, pretty much. So, uh, I've kind of glanced at the Take Him Grammar Guide. Genki was definitely more structured, but Take Him might have more than both of these Genki books that there are. And right after I finish RTK, I'm going to move on to the grammar guide. I uh, don't know how to use Anki, but I have a shared deck with N5 vocabulary sentences. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to study both of those at the same time. I don't really know if I can do it, but I'm just going to try my best. And as for sentence mining, I'm not doing it because I already have a shared deck. And I really don't know how to use Anki. So I guess that's partially why I don't want to do it. If anybody knows how to make a tutorial on how to use Anki, like, straight from the beginning, like, definitely make that. It'll help. And just keep doing it. You'll get better.